Welcome to Irvo Library District's April 2023 Spring Craft Bags for Adults, Week 3. For our third week of spring crafting, Miranda has prepared a bunny tray. She'll take you step by step through the process of turning a Dollar Tree serving tray into a fun spring decoration. If you haven't yet picked up your craft bag, give us a call to see if you can still reserve one. Remember, craft bags are only held until the end of the month, so claim them while you can. Even without one of our craft bags, these materials are pretty easy to come by if you'd like to try making this one on your own. Let's get started. Here are the supplies you'll find in your craft bag, or you can use this as your shopping list if you're making this one on your own. Also, if you don't have a hot glue gun at home, the library has some you can borrow for free. Talk to any librarian for help. Start by painting the included silver tray with the brown paint and foam paintbrush. You don't need to paint the back, and this project is meant to look rustic, so streaks and or imperfections are okay. Set this aside to dry. Next, grab the two clothespins and take them apart by removing the metal spring mechanism. Use two small pieces of green yarn, line them up together, and fold them in half. Glue the raw ends of the green yarn to the top of the flat side of one of the clothespins. You'll be gluing at the end that was previously the mouth of the clothespin. Then, run a bead of hot glue along the flat side of the other clothespin half and press it on top of the other clothespin half so that the raw ends of the yarn are sandwiched inside. The green stems should be poking out of the wider end. Add some glue to the clothespin towards the first indent after the stem. Lay the tail of one of the long orange pieces of yarn into the glue and begin wrapping the orange yarn around the length of the clothespin. Use some more hot glue at the end of the carrot to keep the yarn from slipping off the edge. Wind the yarn back up the carrot to finish off the top, using more glue again to keep it from slipping. Trim off any excess yarn. Repeat this process to make your second carrot. Next, hot glue the two carrots together from the side. Glue them slightly off center. Use the shorter piece of gold ribbon to tie the carrots together around the middle. Curl each ribbon tail by pressing the matte side of the ribbon against the blade of some scissors and slide it down the length of the ribbon. Use the middle-sized raffia to also tie a bow into the middle of the carrots for extra decoration. Now for the bunnies. Flip the buffalo check vinyl over and trace each bunny. Make sure the bunnies are facing opposite directions when tracing. Cut out each final bunny. Peel away the backing from one of the vinyl bunnies and apply it to one of the wooden bunny shapes. Repeat for the second bunny. Use one of the long pieces of raffia and tie a bow around the wooden bunny's neck. Repeat for the second bunny.
Once the brown tray is dry, use a very small amount of white paint and gently brush it over the surface of the tray to accent it. You can even dab some of the excess paint off on the lid to achieve a sort of dry brush effect. Set aside again to dry. Line up all of the small tan, black, and orange yarn bits and raffia together in a bundle. Use the longest piece of gold ribbon to tie them together in the middle. Curl the ribbon with your scissors like before. To assemble the tray, glue each bunny on opposite sides of the tray facing each other. Glue the carrots to the center. Glue the bow to the top edge. There you have it! Your spring bunny tray is all set! We hope you've enjoyed our third week of spring crafting for April 2023. Stay tuned for more crafts to come! Check out our website, www.herbalibrary.org, to stay updated with all of our other program offerings. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.